Fred here. Welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. I have a problem. Um, I had purchased a laptop a couple of months ago and I use it at work and at home. I basically replaced my main machine uh, desktop here at home with this laptop and I also uh, use it a lot at work. And the problem is, and I'll, I'll tell you why, it's better if I show you. Okay, it's a Sony Vio. And every time I use this I have to attach a network cable, the speakers, because I remember this is my desktop replacement so I want speakers, I want to put it on my big monitor down here. Um, I want to do all these things just like as if it were a desktop. So I've got to take the speaker on and off. Um, I got the fan. It's sitting on a cooler so I got to take this fan, plug in and out every single time. Um, the keyboard and mouse USB here every single time I use this. I have to plug in the monitor every time I use this and of course the power cord too and I really can't do anything about the power cord but I can do something about all these other wires that I have to constantly um, plug and unplug and eventually over a year, you know, a year or two a time of doing that, you're going to wear out some of these plugs and that's not good. That's very hard to fix on a laptop. On a desktop it wouldn't be too much of an issue or if the network cable, if the RJ45 went bad. You could just put a card into a desktop. For, for a laptop it's a major motherboard change. Usually it's not worth it and you just have to replace the whole laptop. So I'm going to show you my solution to this problem. Now some of you serious IT folks probably bought a laptop with a dock that it goes in that makes all the connections to all the peripherals with no problem. Um, but they're kind of pricey and I want to buy other things to review so I can enjoy my time here on YouTube with you. So one of the, the things that I had come across maybe about half a year ago was this Targus, um, sort of a universal dock. And it basically took care of, you know, your USB, your keyboard, your, your mic, your speakers, even a COM port, a parallel port, PS2 for mouse and keyboard, and lots of USB. And it does a pretty good job. And I came across this at an unbelievable deal, because this thing costs like a hundred bucks. And uh, I went to like Ben's Bargains website, and I saw these like for five bucks, and I picked up two, and they both worked which was pretty cool. So I have one of those set up at work that I made the attachment to all my machines. But I wanted to find a solution where I could also take care of the video also. So, my wife had um, basically got a lot of points with Office Depot and then she asked me, hey, is there anything that you want? So I looked on the website and I came across this. This is a universal dock by Toshiba Yes, by Toshiba. It's called the DynaDock U Universal USB Connect Docking Station. And it takes care of your mouse and keyboard. Basically, has a, it, it doesn't have PS2, but it has a USB, it has your network, it has both VGA and DVI for your video. And it does all this via one USB. You just connect one USB and it's going to take care of all these things instead of connecting all those things separate. Now, I'm not quite buying it yet. I find it very hard to believe you could pipe audio and video and, and everything through one uh, USB 2 plug, which is basically, I think it's 400 megabits throughput. I'm going to have to double check that. Once I get this hooked up and I turn it all on, I'll, I'll Google that to find out the, the throughput, but I believe it's 400. So... You know, that, that's a little pipe to be shoving all your, your network, your video, your audio, or your USB devices all through at the same time. So I'm very interested if this device could do it. This device you could find between $100 and $125. Um, you might be able to find it cheaper on a good deal one day if you catch it. If you go to places like Ben. Ben Bargains is one of my favorite websites. I check it every day. It's one of the deal websites I like to go to to see if there's a, a good buy out there. So, I'm going to unbox this, and we'll start hooking it up. Machine. It has a nice base, so it could stand up. It comes with the power supply. 
has a power cord and it has the one USB cable sorry about the camera work here the one USB cable that's going to connect this to the laptop and there's also a quick start guide or installation guide on what to do. Let's take a close look at this real quick before we uh, hook it all up. Again that's where you plug in the power supply right here. This is where you plug in the USB cable that goes to your computer. VGA, DVI, USB, 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 USB. There's your network. This is your optical audio and this is your regular audio out. And then you have some powered USB on the front and then another audio and another mic and you have some indicator lights and it looks like it has a switch here on top so that's what the dock looks like and by the way uh, I did a little research on this by the way and you can hook up two monitors simultaneously so in effect you could have your laptop monitor and two more monitors all going at the same time so you could, you could have three displays going at the same time when this is hooked up now all I'm going to be doing is piping my display to, you know, I, I'm not going to use the laptop up here for the display. I'm going to use my main one down here and I'm going to use my keyboard and my mouse here just like I used to do with my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and turn everything on and get ready to hook it up and I'll bring it back here in a second. I went to the Toshiba website and this disk is up to date. It has the latest driver, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this disk in. Now, in the quick start guide, it says before hooking up the device to install the drivers and to install the software. That's the case with most USB devices. If you install a USB device, you should install the drivers or run the install disk first as a rule of thumb, unless the instructions say to do otherwise gives you a choice whether you want to install just one driver or all the drivers. I'm going to install the DynaDoc Utility, the network driver, the audio driver, the video driver, everything. Full install. The installation took about five minutes and then it requires a reboot. So now I'm going to hook the power up. Then I'm going to hook up the USB. goes to this computer. Now it says on the instructions several times that when you plug this in you want to use the same USB over and over again or it's going to go through a whole installation process again to re-recognize the device. A lot of USB devices will do that. If you plug it into one port you know it'll load the driver to it that you've already pre-installed but if you go ahead and plug it into a different USB it's going to sort of do that process over again. So it's best to keep on using the same USB port once you decide on which one you want to use. Alright, so it says that it's installing the device. And really what it's going to do is it's going to install um, the video, it's going to install the audio device, it's going to install the USB device, it's going to have to go through a couple of, uh, you know, it's not just one device, it's many devices in one. Pointing to something off camera, sorry. And I notice there's uh, several new devices here in my system tray. Found new Toshiba DynaDoc. So I think it's ready to go. So the first thing we'll do is I'm going to well, I'm not going to do anything. It wants uh, to be restarted again. So, hold on folks. So I'm going to do another restart. Restart number two. And we'll be right back. So I'm going to hook up my network cable first. See if it gets it on the network. I'm also going to hook up the speakers. see how that goes. Let's see if I have sound out of the speakers. And yes I do. 
let's see if I have network. Uh, I did turn the wireless off, so the only way you could get network is through this device. Do that network cable that I just hooked up. And it's working good. Okay, so we have network. Next thing we're going to do is see if I can hook up my video and my keyboard and mouse and sort of get it down here. So I'm going to hook up the VGA. I'll worry about screwing that in later so I don't waste your time. Look at that. Bam. So I'm gonna sit my butt down here. And appears to be doing well. YouTube channel and let's see how well it can stream video that's a pretty scary guy I'm moving this around just to see the, how well it can refresh and keep up. Just under thirty dollars. Now the specifications are as follows: the Well, that's pretty good. It did pretty good. I'm very impressed. It's doing that all through one USB cable. Now let's see what the speed of USB two is. I'm going to put it up on the top. USB 2.0 speed. All right, let's see how fast it is. Now, I'm thinking it's 400 megabits. I'm not sure. So we'll look that up. Everything USB. Let's see. How fast is USB 2? USB 2. Okay, how fast is USB 2? It's 480 megabits per second. So there you go. I was a little off. It's 480. So that one cable is handling my video, my audio, my network, and my keyboard and my mouse right now. It is pretty impressive, if you ask me. Now, I do want you to know that this laptop is a quad-core i7, and this is requiring some processing power to do all this through a USB. So, if you have a slower machine, like if you have a dual-core or slower, like like an older uh, dual core 2 duo or slower you might not get the same results that I'm getting so don't um, don't yell at me if you don't get the same performance now as this vi as this video itself gets older computers will get faster and this probably will not be an issue also um, we're on the verge of a whole bunch of USB 3 devices coming out I'm gonna go ahead and turn you back on me here Wow, you can't even see me. I need some backlight. Or I just need to turn all this light off and let it adjust. There we go. Um, as I was saying, USB 3 is coming out. It is a lot faster and it can handle these type of things with no problem whatsoever. So, with that, I am relatively satisfied, actually pretty satisfied with the Dynadoc U, you know, between $100 $125, depending on where you shop. It's getting the job done. I'm only wearing out one port instead of all the ports and my video port on my laptop, so it will slow down the wear and tear, which is my goal in this video. So again, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. As you can see, I'm sort of doing 
um, gun and knife related things um, on my earlier video of the week, usually Monday, Tuesday, and then I'll do a tech video uh, Thursday or Friday. So, you know, if you want to not see one or not see the other, you'll know when to look and when not to look. But I can't um, swear to you right now that that's the way it's going to be and not change soon but that's the way it's sort of working out right now so again thank you friends viewers and subscribers for coming by here i really appreciate it i appreciate every one of you um and have a great evening